specific forms of the particular integral so type 1 particular integral of the form e raised to ax upon f of d so given differential equation you find the complete solution means complementary function plus particular integral this is a type 1 e raised to ax upon f of d okay so first i clear the concept the given form is like this okay so e raised to ax upon f of d is equal to e raised to ax upon f of a that means d being replaced by a and is possible f of a is not equal to 0 f of a is not equal to 0 then put d is, uh, sorry d is equal to a then this part is denominator is not equal to 0 suppose f of a is equal to 0 that one is e raised to ax f of d is equal to x into multiply by x e raised to ax upon f dash of d so uh, sorry f dash of a so f dash of a is not equal to 0 again f dash of a equal to 0 e raised to ax upon f of d again one more time multiply by x means x into x x square e raised to ax upon f double dash of a and f double dash of a is not equal to 0 and this is a continuum okay this is a type 1 just to replace d is equal to a that's all you get the particular integral of the solution okay let us see examples now example is solve 6 d square y by dx square plus 17 dy by dx plus 12y equal to e raised to minus x now solution is so we have 6 d square plus 17 d plus 12 into y e raised to minus x d stand d by dx now auxiliary equation is we find this example general solution means complementary function plus particular integral using this type 1 okay now auxiliary equation is 6m square plus 17m plus 12 equal to 0 uh, this one is a factorization 6m square plus 9m plus 8m plus 12 equal to 0 or 2m plus 3 into 3m plus 4 equal to 0 so m is equal to uh, this is a minus 3 by 2 m1 m2 is equal to this is a minus 4 by 3 two roots roots are different the roots are different so write in a complementary function yc is equal to c1 e raised to minus 3 by 2 into x plus c2 e to the power minus 4 by 3 into x this is complementary function now follow the particular integral particular integral the yp so e raised to ax upon f of d so e raised to ax means what this part e raised to minus x e raised to minus x upon f of d f of d means I'll take this one 6d square plus 7d plus 12 now this is a type 1 d is equal to a means d is equal to a means minus 1 put d is equal to minus 1 so e raised to minus x divided by uh, 6 minus 1 square plus 7 
into minus 1 plus 12 and this is equal to e raised to minus x and this one is 1 or e raised to minus x so yp is equal to e raised to minus x particular integral now complete solution is equal to y is equal to yc plus yp okay so y is equal to complementary function c1 e raised to minus 2 3 by 2 into x plus c2 e raised to minus 4 by 3 into x plus e raised to minus x now this is a required complete solution okay next example solve d cube minus d square plus 4d minus 4 into y is equal to this is a hyperbolic function sine of hyperbolic 2x plus 3 find the complete solution so write direct auxiliary equation is m cube minus m square plus 4m minus 4 equal to 0 and take common I am square and this is 4 m square m minus 1 plus 4 m minus 1 equal to 0 so m square minus 1 into m square plus 4 equal to 0 and this m is equal to 1 and this m square is equal to minus 4 or m is equal to plus or minus 2i okay now complete uh, complementary function is yc is equal to the first is c1 e raised to x only second is a complex roots alpha is not there so i beta so plus c1 cos 2x plus uh, sorry c1 is there this is c2 c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x complementary function Now required particular integral yp so yp is equal to sin h 2x plus 3 divided by f of d so this part divided by f of d is a d cube minus d square plus 4d minus 4 you know the standard formula sin hyperbolic function is e raised to ax minus e raised to minus ax divided by 2 ok same using standard formula here and this part is this part is e raised to 2x plus 3 mi minus e raised to minus 2x plus 3 divided by 2 into 1 upon d cube minus d square plus 4d minus 4 and this is equal to I'll take 1 by 2 outside first one e raised to 2x plus 3 divided by d cube minus d square plus 4d minus 4 and minus sign e to the power minus of 2x plus 3 divided by d cube minus d square plus 4d minus 4 okay now this is a type 1 now type 1 this is a, a part and this is a part the first one is d is equal to a a means 2 in the first term in second term d is equal to a is a minus 2 minus 2 so 1 by 2 into e raised to 2x plus 3 2 cube minus 2 square plus 4 into 2 minus 4 minus sign e raised to minus of 2x plus 3 minus 2 cube minus 2 square minus of minus 2 square plus 4 into minus 2 minus 4 okay now and this is equal to 
is 1 by 2 e raised to 2x plus 3 and uh, this one is 8 minus e raised to minus of 2x plus 3 this is a minus minus 24 okay or yp is equal to uh, take 24 outside 48 1 upon 48 3 into e to the power 2x plus 3 plus e raised to minus of 2x plus 3 now complete solution is equal to y is equal to yc plus yp so y is equal to complementary function is c1 e raised to x plus c2 cos 2x plus c3 sin 2x plus a particular integral 1 upon 48 into 3 into e to the power 2x plus 3 plus e to the power minus of 2x plus 3 so this is a required solution okay next example is solve y double dash minus of a plus b y dash plus a b y equal to e raised to a x plus e raised to b x ok now so we have so we have y double dash means second order means d square minus a plus b into d plus a b into y is equal to e raised to ax plus e raised to bx so d stand d by dx now auxiliary equation is m square minus of a plus b m minus a b equal to 0 or this one is m minus a into m minus b equal to 0 means m is equal to a and b very simple the complementary function is uh, c1 e to the power ax plus c2 e, e to the power bx but where a is not equal to b is not equal now go to the particular integral so phi of x means this part right hand side e raised to ax plus e raised to bx divided by f of d so f of d i'll take better this one uh, d minus a okay this is a d minus a and d minus b now this is equal to i will separate e raised to ax upon d minus a into d minus b plus e to the power bx upon d minus a into d minus b now this is called this is a p1 and this is a p2 solve one by one okay the first one p1 p1 is equal to e raised to ax upon d minus a into d minus b now take d is equal to uh, a put d is equal to a so e raised to ax upon d is equal to a this is 0 denominator part is 0 so a minus a 0 0 into this one is 0 so denominator is a 0 ok so we differentiate uh, first multiply x e raised to ax now differentiate this one differentiate uh, product rule d minus a into d minus b again it is 1 plus d minus b into differentiate get 1 after differentiate we get like this again using uh, d is equal to this one a d is equal to a 
so x into e to the power ax upon so d is equal to a this is first one is 0 plus a minus b so p1 is equal to x into e raised to ax upon a minus b we get we got as p1 now go to the p2 this one p2 e to the power bx upon d minus a into d minus b this is type 1 so d is equal to a a means what b and this is equal to e raised to bx upon uh, b minus a into b minus b b minus b is 0 0 into this one is 0 denominator part is a 0 so denominator part is a 0 multiplied by x e raised to bx and divided by f dash of d means differentiate using product rule so d minus a into differentiate we get 1 plus d minus b differentiate this first bracket we get 1 ok again d is equal to take this part b this is x into e to the power bx upon d minus a d minus a and plus 0 now therefore p2 is equal to x into e to the power bx upon b minus a now only particular integral means p1 plus p2 p1 plus p2 is so this is p1 x into e raised to ax upon a minus b plus p2 is x into e raised to bx upon b minus a now complete solution is equal to yc plus yp complementary function is c1 e raised to ax c2 e raised to bx plus particular integral now x and x is a common e raised to ax upon a minus b plus e raised to bx upon b minus a this required general solution complete solution